Well, hello, Midlife Love Mastery members. I'm your host, Jonathan Asley, and I'm so excited to be shooting this short video for you today. It's a morning cup of to Jonathan, Jonathan, and today we have our Coffee Tastes Better When Shared mug. Coffee Tastes Better When Shared. And the t-shirt says, humankind, be both. Be both human and both be kind. All right, so our topic today, when should you have sex with a man? All right, this question comes up often, and I really enjoy getting into this one. And right off the bat, let's get real. Men can have sex with a woman and not either be interested in a relationship with them or not really get too attached um, in the process of being intimate with someone. And that's not always the case, but that's most of the time. Whereas women tend to operate a little bit differently. When they're intimate with someone, they can get very attached. So that's why this question is an important one to talk about. Now, the answer is when should you have sex with a man? Whenever you want. I am not here to tell you what to do. This is an individual experience for a woman and they can have sex whenever they want with, their man, with a man. So I'm not here to tell you what to do, but I'm here to offer some perspective. Um, because, you know, I, I did a video recently where I said sex is part of the decision-making process for whether or not someone wants to choose a relationship. And since we no longer live in this traditional paradigm that sex happens as a result of marriage, I think it's an important thing to get into. So here is my rule of thumb when it comes to having sex with anyone, whether it's having sex with a man or having sex with a woman. <laughs> And I want you to remember this acronym called CARES, C-A-R-E-S, CARES, C-A-R-E-S. Now what the C stands for um, when it comes to having sex with a man or, um, or having sex is do it when you feel comfortable, comfortable. The C stands for comfortable. In other words, don't have sex because you feel pressured. Um, I mean, that's an obvious one, but I, I point it out as, um, as one to lean into. Certainly, uh, alcohol can pressure one to having sex, so I would be conscious of that. Um, but do it when you feel comfortable. The A stands for awareness. Be aware of yourself. In other words, if you get attached to someone and you've had sex with someone and you may never see them again, be aware of that consequence. Be aware of the consequence to yourself, okay? Just to yourself, to your emotional self. Be aware of who you are and how you operate from that perspective. The R stands for real. And what I mean to say is learn his real intentions or their real intentions. Oftentimes people, as I said before, can have sex with no real intention of being in a relationship. And if that's something you desire, then you'd want to spend time learning their real intention the best you can before you become intimate or sexual with a person. And that's what the R stands for. The E stands for exclusivity. Now, I'm a big proponent that if you're going to have regular sex with someone, that that sex be monogamous. And monogamous and exclusivity are the same things. In other words, it's with no one else. So I'm a big proponent of asking the question, when you are asking someone, when they're intimate with another person, in other words, when they're having regular sex, do they believe in monogamy? Do they believe in exclusivity? And ask them how they operate from that perspective. So the E stands for exclusivity. And the S stands, stands for safety. I'm a big proponent that if you're, if you're having sex with someone you barely know, then you want to be safe, whether that means using a condom, whether that means having STD tests or an AIDS test, at least have some consciousness around being safe. And certainly your environment might also need to be safe as well. In other words, doing it in the back seat of a car uh, where your car is parked on a cliff and the brakes weren't on, <laughs> that may not be safe. Now, I'm being tongue-in-cheek with that, but safety is more about your physical safety when it comes to your body. And um, the fact that is we can get cooties and diseases, and I'm a big proponent of at least having a good conversation about that before you're intimate. When should you have sex with a man? Whenever you want. 
but you may want to remember my simple acronym of CARE, C-A-R-E-S, comfortable, aware of the consequences, learn their real intentions, exclusive, uh, if it's going to be repetitive, <laughs> the sex, and lastly, to be safe. All right, that's my thoughts and perspectives on when to have sex with a man. I'd like to hear your thoughts if you think this is full of shit, if there was some value in here, if you want to, let's create a dialogue, post a comment below. I want to hear your thoughts on this one. All right, if you found value in this video, I encourage you to tell your friends about Midlife Love Mastery. Send them to my website, jonathanaslay.com. Have them click the group coaching button so they can watch our fantastic videos to be part of our monthly webinars and certainly get my library of content out there. Okay, I'm gonna sign off this video as I always do, giving you a big gigantic Jonathan Bear hug if I have your consent. Aw, oh, thank you. Mm. Wishing you a wonderful day. Thanks so much. Bye-bye now.